Praise God. Good afternoon. Happy Lord's Day, TCCI family. Yeah, I'm River. I'm very um, grateful and honored to share our Heavenly Father's deeds at His home. Today, I'm going to tell you about the love of God who renewed my broken life. I was raised in a Christian family. I was blessed, but I didn't know much about walking with the Holy Spirit. My father is a civil servant, painter, composer, and a choir conductor. And my mother is housewife who served as a church accompanist and an educator in the church. My brother studied very well, and, I, uh, and he is now an elementary school teacher. I grew up in a dysfunctional family and had a bad relationship with my parents. When I was a little boy, my father beat me a lot and my mother scolded a lot, so I had a, a deep wound in my mind, in my heart. I was uncomfortable uh, with my family, so I looked elsewhere to rest my soul. I was at home, uh, yes, that <laughs> day, uh, but I always uh, wanted to go home. <laughs> yeah, you know, a house is not a home. So I wandered around the worldly world in my teens and twenties. I liked to hang out with my friends and lived playing games and entertainment. I failed all four schools that I applied after the Sunung Shiam is it's a test like the SAT in, in the States. I managed to get into an art college, but I was expelled for three academic warnings because I didn't go to school well after the first eight weeks of the semester. Uh, so I decided to join the Air Force and had an interview. What happened next? I failed again. <laughs> I experienced continuous failures in my life. I had no purpose, no goal, but only had emptiness in my life. I ended up leaving the church after being discharged from military duty. In my mid-20s, um, the hardest time in my life, I struggled to find something to fill my heart. The deep echo is uh, in my heart, in my soul, the deep echo was leading me somewhere. I decided to quit my job and wanted to, wanted to leave my boarding house to escape. Yeah, it's a, just escape to Australia. So I wanted to go on a working holiday but I was a vulnerable person with a lot of fear. When I was working, uh, I got into a car accident every year. I didn't have anything. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do anything well. My ego was completely destroyed by the sense of shame that I couldn't even quit smoking on my own. When I feel like I've had it up to here, there was rock bottom for me. God breaks my outer man for a spirit, spirit breakout. While I was speeding through downtown Swan City, my hometown, listening to loud, cl uh, loud club music, I violated the left turn signal and collided with a car that was making U-turn. Bam! At the moment, I thought, oh, God doesn't want me living like this. It was the end of my wrong life. And I ended up going to church. Finally, I surrendered. Back to the church chapel, I cried as soon as I sat down. And during that week, I personally encountered the Holy Spirit. It's amazing. 
I met my Lord, my God, Jesus Christ. Amen. In the midst of sin, in this world, a ray of light shone on me when I didn't know who I was. I experienced the grace of, grace of the Lord who came close to me, a sinner and a sick man. I couldn't do anything with my own power, just like when Abraham was 99 years old. There was no hope like the one who had been an invalid 38 years, you know, in the Bible. When living in sin and shame like a Samaritan woman, yeah, it was me. The true light shone on me who was filled with death. You know, the Lord is the true light. I really experienced a supernatural experience of light that was stronger and brighter than the sun. Yes, it is real. The Lord is true love. It was the love of the cross that embraced, embraced me who lived in despair, frustration, and sin. He has washed away all my scarlet sins with His precious blood, and He has forgiven me. Also, Jesus took all my fears and physical weaknesses, and my sick body became healthy. Hallelujah. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. Amen. Praise the Lord. And the Lord is the true life. He made me and you guys also alive together with Christ and raised us up with Him and seated us with Him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. It was an amazing regeneration. The kingdom of God entered my heart. Eden was restored in my life. When my relationship with God, with God was restored first, and then my existence and everything around me were renewed. The relationship with my uh, parents was restored. I saw all my circumstances uh, differently. All nature and people became so beautiful and wonderful. Yeah, <laughs> you guys. Above all, my relationship with myself was restored. I had a complex about my name because uh, of my Korean name, Karam. Karam, which looked like a, a woman's name. So, moreover, my father told me when I was younger, uh, young, uh, little, when my father told me that he wished I had been born as a daughter yeah it had a bad effect on my gender identity but the lord shone a light on me in the bible is gear 47 9 wherever the river goes every living creature that swamps will live and there will be very many fish for this water goes there that the waters of the sea may become fresh so everything will live where the river goes. I was reborn as a river of God. That's right. I am me. I don't have to be anyone else. Kim Karam. A child of God. So my core identity actually was changed through a face-to-face -face encounter with God. You guys and me, we are all in Christ. So we are a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. We are the masterpiece of the Lord. Amen. Yes, my restoration of my family. David. <laughs> 
as my identity came alive, the vision for my life also came alive. I flew through paper planes into the sky in the past, and they flew back to my life. Uh, I opened the paper airplanes. They were my childhood dreams. On the first plane was written, Ambassador. When I was a, a little uh, middle, middle school, I saw the foreign missionary couple from Texas I first met. There was an inner cry. Oh, I wanted to live like them. The second, worship leader. When I was in high school, I saw a worship leader who came to school chapel. I heard his testimony and I thought, oh, I want to live like him. Third, colorist. I wanted to be a colorist when I, uh, when I was in art college. When Jesus came into me, all three visions back to life. Now I am an ambassador in the kingdom of God. Now I am a worship leader. To be more uh, precise, yeah, the Holy Spirit is the only one, only true uh, worship leader. Yeah. I am a, just a worshiper. Now, I am a colorist for souls who is by shining the light of the gospel on the souls who are dying, every dying without dreams and hopes. Yeah, that's my mission. It's been 10 years since I met Jesus. The Lord grafted me uh, to a new body new body this this year this season that is this is yeah <laughs> yeah thank you pastor day here i am blessed to participate in a new church family here the language barrier from the tower of favor <laughs> is being broken down by the church of christ the Lord is building yeah <laughs> The meeting with TCCI was an amazing turning point for me. I would like to express my deep gratitude to God the Father and you guys, the TCCI family, you guys all. Thank you. Lastly, uh, my dream is to make young people like broken vessels, like me, yeah. All over the world become an army of the kingdom of God. They are the army of praise whose face hidden, hidden by glory, hidden their face of God and reflects only His glory. So we are weak. Our lives were broken. But we know, I know, you know, the best father, right? The Lord is leading us to the next level. I believe that. So we are made for more. We are made for revival. Hallelujah. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praise my Savior all the day long. My best testimony is only my Lord, my King, Jesus Christ. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. I am beyond grateful for everything to TCCI family. I love your family. Uh, thank you.